chapter three already <laughs> enemy of the state i think there's like 15 chapters joe's apartment february the 10th 1945 yes it's still the 8th as i'm recording this 8th of 8th of february <sighs> who is that ringing Hello? Joe's pleasure, pal. It's Vito speaking. <laughs> Why didn't you come home last night? I was worried sick. Mama? I didn't know you had Joe's number. And whose phone is this? So have you spoken to Mr. Papalardo? Find yourself a job? Yeah, he told me to come by and see him today. Hopefully he's got some work for me. Okay, Vito. Good luck, mio bambino. All right, bye, Mama. Wait, who can we call? Oh, we have no numbers. Oh, we should put clothes on. Hey, leather jacket. Let's go. Okay, let's get our car. <laughs> wow, somehow we can fit uh, 10 cars in there. Uh, should we repair this? Nah, we'll repair it later. What? Oh, I forgot about speeding. How fast am I even going? Oh, I think that we're going to like 80 plus. Well, watch out. Oh, if we crash like in a brick wall, we'd be so screwed. But we got away. Oh, let's not get caught speeding. What is the speed limit? Does it not tell us anywhere what the speed limit is? Because that's a little annoying. I would like to know what the speed limit is, so I can abide by the law. Apparently we're meant to be doing 20 around this corner. But screw that, because there's no cops around. So, city port. And we're going to get some work. From uh, this guy up here. I can't quite remember him, but I remember what he's all about. A lot of cranes here. Oh, some of that pork. Nom, 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 nom. Oh, open the door. It's windy. What do you want? <laughs> yeah, I'm looking for Mr. Papalotto. Oh, yeah? Why? My name is Vito Scaletta. My old man used to work for him, and I'm looking for a job, so I came here. Well, you're in the right spot, sonny boy. Federico Papayado at your service. You can call me Derek. I think I remember your dad. Good guy, but drank like a fish. What's he up to these days? He's dead. Oh, well, you all gotta go sometime. Right, Steve? Sure, Derek. So you need a job, huh? Well, you're in luck. We just got a new shipment to unload. Steve will show you around. Now scram, my steak's getting cold. Okay, now we get to work. Follow me. So what am I doing? Okay, there's a truck there. Load this pile of crates onto that truck. When you're done, you get ten bucks. If something gets lost or broken, you get nothing. Start now and don't take all day. Oh, that's a lot of crates. Oh. This is going to take us a while. I don't see why it doesn't hold the handles. Like they're there, so... <laughs> Use them. Maybe. The door is open. Leave when you've had enough. Um... This is going to be tedious, so we're going to just leave right now to progress with the story. Because that's kind of pointless, and you'll see why just in a second with from this cutscene. Hey, you done? Yeah, I'm done. And you can keep the ten bucks. When I said I needed a job, I didn't mean slave labor. Whatever. Get the fuck out of here, then. Don't show your face around here again. Yeah, don't worry. I can make a hundred times more working for Barbaro Incorporated. 
Wait, you said Barbaro? Joe Barbaro? Yeah, so what? Shit, nobody who works with Joe would carry crates for ten bucks. What the hell are you doing? Come with me. Ah, now you see, that was some miscommunication. So now we go back to Steve and explain our situation. Okay, let's talk to Steve. What now? Well, this one don't like manual labor. What the fuck? Said he works with <laughs> Joe Barbaro. Bullshit. We want a load crates if he works with Joe. You'll have to explain this one to me, sonny boy. What's your story? Uh, well, my mother wanted me to come talk to you about an honest job, but I need some real money, so this ain't gonna cut it. <laughs> Them women, they're all the same. Right, Steve? Sure, Derek. She doesn't want you hanging around with Joe, right? <laughs> My mother was the same way. Look what become of me. Union boss. I got the whole fucking waterfront under my thumb. So how's Joe? Pretty good, I guess. How'd you meet up with him? Oh, we go way back to the old neighborhood. I just come back from overseas and he's putting me up until I can get back on my feet. Listen, though, you gotta understand, a person in my position has gotta be careful. Certainly. So you won't mind if I give Joe a call, right? Ah, go ahead. Where'd I put his number? Hey, here it is. Uh-oh. Joe, be home. Hi, Joe. Hey, this oh. is Derek. Listen, I got this guy here. Uh, what'd you say your name was? Vito. Vito. He's looking for a job. He says he's a friend of yours. A good friend. I just wanted to check with you first. Uh huh. Sure. War hero and all that shit. All right, all right. Thanks, then. I talk to you later. Sorry, pal. I had to check you out. Joe Whew. says you just come back from Italy. You must be able to handle yourself. You want to make a little more money? I got just the thing. The guys here at the port are supposed to pay a monthly fee to the barber, but half of them never cough it up. I need someone to give them a little nudge. Ten bucks a man. What if they don't need a haircut? Well, then you'll have to convince them otherwise. I see. What if somebody makes a fuss? Then you kick the shit out of them. Well, let's say you teach them a lesson that doesn't require that they miss work. You got it? Which is why Steve ain't doing the job. Right, Steve? Right, boss. Collect a list of <laughs> 50 bucks, I give you 50. Just for walking around, taking it to Sierra, meeting new people. Easy fucking money, huh? What do you say? I can do that. Lugging crates around. All right, then. Let me get going. Oh. Yeah, the, there's these collectible magazines that you can collect. I'm not really going to look out for them. There's also these poster things. Again, not going to look for them. And, uh, it's a pretty lady. Yeah. It's Playmate 18. Yep. Okay, so we have to go about talking to people. Um. Yeah, this guy is the first one. Here to collect the fee for the barber. Hey, what kind of game you playing? The kind where you pay what you owe when you don't get hurt. You got a problem with that? I got a problem with you. Now get out of here before I kick your ass. Come on. How do I push him? Oh, that's how we push him. Oh, we have to fight him now. You gonna pay? Come on. <laughs> we can uh, insult him like that. I never knew we could do that. Come on, you little yeah, if you press square, you can insult him like that. Ah, <sighs> oh, that kick in the face just... I don't like it. Yeah, glad you decided to reconsider. 
Okay, that's good. And the next guy is over here. Hey, pal. Derek needs you to pay the fee for the barber. Uh, yeah. I must have forgot or something. Next time, try to pay on time, okay? Thanks. <laughs> uh, this is this is quite messed up that they have to do this. Needs you to pay the fee for the barber. Sure, here it is. I don't want no problems. Don't leave it until the last minute next time. Okay, we showed them a lesson, and now we got this guy, this big bloke. Hey, pal. Derek needs you to pay the fee for the barber. Doesn't need a haircut. Look, asshole. I'm not in the mood. Why don't you get out of my face before you get hurt? Ah, no can do, pal. Derek wants his money. Derek can kiss my ass. What's that fat fuck gonna do? Have me killed? Hey, you said it, not me. Why don't you give it a try, then, asshole? Now we fight him. Ugh. Oh, come on, get up. Come on, yes. Bam! That classic kick to the face again. Oh, they're both sharp now. Got a fucking problem with paying for the fucking barber? There. <laughs> that was all settled down. 